All right, guys, I got a story for you here on Tuesday morning. Uh, thanks to the sunlight out here, I'm glowing. <coughs> Try to get rid of it, but I can't. Uh, this comes to us out of the village of Mantua, Ohio. Police departments struggle to find recruits who want to protect and serve. Hmm, really? Chief Joe Erso of Mantua Police Department in the village of Mantua, Ohio, is the only full-time officer in the department. He has 10 part-timers and would like to hire three or four auxiliary officers who he would make part-time officers in the future. In a village of only 1,000 people, he has only a handful of applications. Urso was quoted saying, nobody is banging down the door like 10 or 15 years ago to come into this line of work. The chief said he has seen fewer candidates due to intense scrutiny on television and social media over police-involved shootings. Well, yeah, when you get a something like that officer in Pennsylvania that shot the 17 year old in the back while he was running away. Yeah, you're going to get scrutiny on social media and television. Urso continued, quote, I've always told the officers if we can do nine things right, nobody will notice. If we do one thing that's questionable in the community's eyes, it's going to be a wrong thing. There is some scrutiny there. So when you look at someone like this cop in Redlands here, um, that's you know, going around shining his flashlight in people's face, <clears throat> yeah, you're going to get scrutiny from the community. Yeah, you're going to have the community look and go, what a dick, what a dick cop. They're not going to see all the good things you did because of the dick cops. So what you can do, Chief Joe or so, is when you see bad cop behavior, Tweet them or the department or email them or call the department. You're a chief. You can be anonymous and just say, look, man, are you guys going to do something about that? Because that is what's causing us here in Mantua Village to have scrutiny from the community. And it's getting harder to hire officers because everybody hates them. You know why everybody hates them? Because of the cops that are acting childlike and doing bad behavior. That's why it's getting harder for him to hire police officers because they don't want to be hated. Well, then tell those assholes, cops, <clears throat> that are doing bad stuff, stop it. You're hurting us. Urso said, quote, it's a big struggle in this area because some of the younger kids are fresh out of the academy. They want to go to bigger cities where they want to raise a family. Lieutenant Mike Lewis of Kent, Ohio Police Department said, quote, We've seen stuff like this before. I honestly believe that there are still a whole lot of people out there who want to serve. Incorrect, I believe. There are a whole lot of people out there that want to wear a badge so they can say, look, I can do anything I want. I can act however I want. I don't have to be professional. My boss will justify it. My other officers will go along with it. Because nobody wants to make the police department look bad, even when you have an asshole on the street. And I'm not specifically talking about one incident. I'm talking nationwide, guys. Nationwide. Look at High Desert Community Watch. <clears throat> when he confronted the LAPD, he was doing a First Amendment audit, legal activity, constitutionally protected, and four uh, gang-like new younger cops jumped out of a car like they were thugs on Southside getting ready to smack somebody. What kind of, what's up with that behavior? And that's the behavior that's causing the community to go, look, that's what cops are like. So all you cops that want to be liked by the community and want people to go, you're a good cop, tell those assholes, knock it off. That's what you do. Instead of blaming the community, instead of blaming cameramen, start acting professional in front of a camera. There's an idea. Wow. Light bulb comes on. Instead of acting like a dick. I'm not talking about specifically one incident. I'm talking nationwide. Look at First Amendment audits and look how cops act. News Now, Yukaipa. I want to get your opinions on this. And as always, the whole story is linked in the description box below.